Hey everybody, Hooterville75 with Midnight to Ferocious Sissy coming to you from the Swamp Pit. Let's try this attempt number three at making this video and hope it takes because this is my last attempt. These are some pickups that I made at Michael's on Wednesday, I believe the 11th. Uh, better half and I went out Christmas shopping for the little one, picking up some bits and pieces. And we came to Michael's because the little one wanted that rubber band loom thing where you can make bracelets out of rubber bands. So we went there to pick that up and of course I got to check out the model section so the better half comes up. She goes, you know what? She was like, since you and Alexis, my daughter, every year we usually get something for each other for Alexis my daughter to give to us and she goes what can we get get you that you you'll like and I'm not a big gift receiver so I told her the best present you could get me is watching you two open your presents and having a great Christmas but she insisted since Alexis and I got her the Garth Brooks box set, which Alexis doesn't know that she knows that, that they were going to get me a present for Alexis to give me. So Alexis not knowing that I received this, I wanted to make a video quick of it so I could get it posted on YouTube. But since we were at Michael's, I started looking around the models, of course, and I ran into this. Monogram 135th scale. M48A2 patent tank. So I was like, got to have that. So this is what the little one is getting me for Christmas. I don't even think she knows yet, nor does she know that I know, but it's an awesome little tank it looks like. Hoping it's an actual bigger tank, but... So I got to surfing around Michael's and ran into this. So, after having a discussion with Ken from Badger the other week on what I can do to avoid some problems and stuff, he said run an airbrush cleaner through your airbrush regularly, even while spraying. So, not knowing this is was specifically for Spectratex paints, the one line of Badger paints, I picked a bottle of this up. It was like $5.99 or $6.99, something like that. But, it is a, let me see how many... It's 16 ounces, so 473 milliliters of airbrush cleaner, and I used it already, and it works fine for the Vallejo paint, so I picked a bottle of that up, and then I also picked a bottle of these sable brushes up, being that I have no clue the differences in the brushes and how they work and what benefits you get from different brushes. I figured why go expensive when I can get these for five dollars for a pack of I don't know there's like ten of them in there and as long as you wash your brushes properly and then let me get this product over here I always wash my brushes in water rinse them in water and then dip it in isopropyl 70 percent alcohol and stick into this and swirl it around once you swirl it around in the Masters Brush Cleaner, this is called the Masters Brush Cleaner. This is a must-have for cleaning brushes, in my opinion. But you rub it around in the Masters Brush Cleaner, wipe the excess off on a paper towel, on a paper towel, and then form the point you want your brush to be in the next time you come to use it. Wham! The point's there. Dip it in your dip it in your water or alcohol or your thinner. Get some paint on it and go to town. So these brushes suit me just fine as of right now till I learn the difference of what, what different brushes do for you. And I have a reason to actually go spending seventeen to twenty dollars per brush to actually have a good set of detailing hand painting brushes. So those were my three purchases for Wednesday. The patent tank, sable brushes, and the Spectratex airbrush cleaner. So, 
was a good day. And I do believe we're going shopping tomorrow again. Hint, hint, ha ha. So, hard to tell what I'll come home with tomorrow. So, hope everybody liked this video. Really starting to get up there in subscribers. Not starting to get up there, but for me, I'm very, very, very happy with the amount I have so far. Just a little over 200. Hoping to hit 300 by the end of the end of the year. So, if you like what you see and you like the the videos I'm producing and the models I'm building, please spread the word. Give me a shout out in one of your vids to some of your buddies. Hopefully pick up some more subscribers and hopefully hit the 300 mark before the end of the year. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for viewing. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. If I don't do any videos by the end of this weekend, you know, which may happen, I'm not sure yet what the weekend holds. Please have yourself a super safe weekend. Stay alive, don't drink and drive. Have a designated driver if you're going to have a few cold ones. And I'll catch you all good sirs and ma'ams and all my subscribers in the next video. Hooterville 75 with Midnight the Ferocious Sissy, who I believe is still right here. Yep, there she is. Catch you later, fellas.